Hello, this is Kenny Moore of TaggedPDF.com, continuing a series of short tutorials intended to help optimize PDF documents for assistive technology and mobile PDF readers by meeting the new PDF accessibility requirements of the 508 refresh. In this video, we will take a look at a pretty common problem in which tagged content seems to just vanish, it disappears from the visual representation of the document. And the problem is called the Z order problem. The Z order problem cannot be detected by PAC2 or other automated checkers. It is not listed in the Matterhorn protocol, which does not address the visual representation of the document. Uh, the failure condition is pretty obvious. I'm tagging content, and just as I tag something, it seems to vanish. Uh, it's not actually gone, it's actually just hiding behind other page elements. The video will present this suggestion for resolving the error using Adobe Acrobat Pro and using this example PDF, which if you'd like, you're welcome to download and you can use to practice fixing this error. In pack two, I have the example PDF loaded. So I can click start and we get our good friend, the happy green check mark. This PDF is technically accessible. So just a reminder, uh, PAC2 can't catch everything. Uh, many PDF accessibility issues require knowledgeable human inspection. In Acrobat Pro, you can see that this PDF has a paragraph on top of a shaded background. That's exactly the sort of thing that can cause problems with the Z order. And I wasn't able to actually come up with an example of where the content disappears right before your eyes. Uh, so I'm going to try to simulate that through the magic of video editing. I'm going to select the Touch Up Reading Order tool. I'm just not a fan of the dialogue that comes with it. It just seems to always be in my way. So I don't use that. I'm going to select this paragraph. Tag it. And in this simulation, you can see that the content just appears to vanish. It appears to just be gone. Um, it is still there. If I go to the Tags pane, um, I can find it. Uh, I can see that it's still there. And there it is. Uh, if I were to listen to the document with a screen reader, I would hear it. Uh, if I were to look at the document with a screen reader emulator, I would see it. So it is there. It's just hiding behind that shaded box. Now, Adobe provides a tool to fix the Z order. It's this order pane, and you can see the nice little Z on it. Uh, the problem with this tool is it just doesn't work very well. Um, and even when it does work, it tends to screw up the tags, so the tags have to be redone. Uh, so I don't use it. I've given up on the order pane completely. I, I never use it. Uh, fortunately, Acrobat Pro also includes the content pane, which actually works pretty well for this and uh, some other things. So what I need to do in the content pane, I'm going to just select the first container and arrow down. I'm going to find the content that's hidden. And it looks like it starts there and goes on down to, let's see, about there. And then I need to find the page element that that content is hiding behind. And it looks like it's the very next one. There's the shaded box right there. It is properly marked as an artifact, uh, but it's improperly positioned. It's after the content that's on top of it. It needs to be before that content. So I'm just going to grab that container and move it all the way to the top of the, tag stru uh, the content structure. And there we go. The content uh, seems to magically reappear. And that's how I deal with the Z order problem. Using Acrobat Pro, I'm going to save as a new file name, just in case I mess something up, which is very easy to do using Acrobat Pro. Uh, I want to be able to revert to the previous version of the file and not lose too much work. And back in Pack 2, I will load the remediated PDF, quick start, and we're visited again by our good friend, the happy green check mark. Uh, this PDF is technically accessible. 
it was technically accessible before. I just wanted to make sure that I didn't uh, mess something up while I was working on it. This is Kenny Moore of taggedpdf.com. Thank you for viewing this video. Hope you found it helpful. Uh, please feel free to contact me using the Contact Kenny page at taggedpdf.com. Accessibility is the right thing to do.